today we're going to work with sand, little bits of pretty colored sand. First, please like and subscribe. Yes, so we're going to use the sand. I ordered these kits for my, uh, my after school program and I thought, oh, how great, individual pass out and go. So the package comes and it looks a lot like this. This is the package, so it looks just like this. Um, it doesn't come with any instructions. Not that you really need them, but you know, sometimes that's nice. So what I thought would be a simple project really turned into a difficult challenge for most of my students. I found a couple of them in the trash. Um, I, so I was just very surprised by that. I had one fifth grader complete the project, one eighth grader complete the project with great success. Others, not so much, um, more of a muddly time and, and hard to keep colors separated, but it still was fun for her and, and it turned out well. So the first difficulty was, is when they come to you and you take it out of the pack, you have all these little packets of sand with, once they're open, they're just going to be a mess. So definitely work over a plate and definitely work with one color at a time. So when you shake it off, you're done with that color and don't need to worry about reapplying it that same color somewhere else and because it just gets into a big mess on your plate. Um, so there's something. And then of course the students really, really want to just snip, you know, the whole top off of a package and trying to convince them just to take a little corner off might be easier to handle the packets you know, a little bit difficult, but that's what I would recommend. A small snip to the side so you can have a nice pouring spout. And then to close them up, if there was leftovers, I just turned them over and put a paper clip on them and, and called it good. Um, so there's the sand and it comes in great colors. I mean, you know, it's fun pack and we got some oranges and blues and greens and reds in there. But the challenging part is is when you first get it is just trying to figure out what you're supposed to do like well what do I do now and then the kids were having a hard time discerning between the sticky peel off part and the cardboard hard part and I found that kind of fascinating because usually they're very quick on these things so you know and, and, and do you start from the center I would think that would be good and work your way out um, years of experience of doing things. That's not exactly how the students called it though. And they all, um, I think all started from the outside. So this one is actually peeling up nice and easy. Okay. Some of them were very hard and you really needed some serious fingernails to do it. But if you grab at the yellow bit, a lot of times that white part wants to come up underneath it. And then that's where the problem comes in. The cardboard doesn't know it should stick to itself. So then you start peeling it off and then see there's a sticky there and a sticky there. So you would go all the way around and do like every other one. Uh, that's what I would do. And then I would pick a color, put it all in. Much like this one that I, well, I don't know if I started it, but I might've picked it up to finish it for someone. Um, and they just went with the red all the way around the outside. Good. And we've got, these are still not done in the inside right here. We need to peel those off. So let me just do one round of peel and show so you'll have an idea. Um, but I would remember, only recommend this for students or adults with um, a great deal of patience because getting these little things off of there shouldn't seem like it would be that hard. But now you've got sand on one side <laughs> and you don't want to peel it off. And these little stickery things that are not the user as friendly. So you know, this really would be the way to go for a patient group. Um, you know, I don't know if my kids would want to do it again. Maybe one of them, the two that had the great success might, but the others were just like, oh, oh this is really hard. I shouldn't do this. I'm like, you guys, it's just some sand and some glue. But, you know, for younger students and for more fun with sand, I would definitely recommend, and we will do another video on it, is a larger uh, piece of paper, a glue stick, and pretty color sand. 
And then you have a little more freedom and you don't have to do this very tedious take off your sticky bits. Okay, so in all that time, I only got this one little row off. So let's put some color on it and see what happens. Let's see, let's go with yellow because I think that'd be our best color for right there. So once again, I'm just gonna snip off a corner so I can have a little more control. And I'm doing it on a paper plate. Well, I'm doing it on two paper plates. So I can shake my sand back in. And if you don't think you're gonna finish in time, if you save those little pieces you peeled off, you can put them back on if you needed to. All right, here we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then I'm trying not to just get it all over the other ones in case there's a little glue that was still showing on my other colors that I hadn't quite covered, you know, and then you'd have a mix. So here we go. On, sprinkled. Oh, a lot of sand going off. Oh, well, I hope you can see that that's a color change there. It is indeed, this is now yellow. Uh, and that's more of a beige, it goes blue, beige, I need to still do in the middle there. If they turn out nice, they could be beautiful ornaments. Um, you could laminate them. You're, you could hang them on a tree. So you could do most anything with it after you're done. So overall, this project, I'm gonna give a C grade to. Um, tedious, um, just tedious. <laughs> um, all right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this um, version today of the sand art with Zabby, and I hope you have a great day. Please give me a subscribe and like, and we'll see you next week.